It's a single edge razor showdown. In this corner, the Supply SC single edge injector razor. And in this corner, the Supply 2.0 single edge injector razor. We're going to have a shave with both of them coming up next. Hi YouTubers and watch shavers everywhere, it's MarkWithGeorgeTune.com. I'm back with another video. Thanks so much for stopping by and sharing your time with me. Great to see you again. We're going to do a razor showdown today. Before we get to that, if this is your first visit to the channel, welcome, make yourself at home, check out all the other videos, and also please consider subscribing. I welcome your company and your comments. Again, we're going to have a razor showdown. I've been looking forward to doing this one. This one has been suggested by viewers, so I'm really glad to bring it to you today. By the way, I've got two days worth of beard growth. I want to mention that before I forget. Everyone always wonders if I have facial hair to shave away. As you know, I'm a fair-skinned individual, so sometimes one day's worth of growth doesn't photograph as readily as I'd like. But I've got two days here, so you should be able to see that without any problem. The two razors we're going to use are the Supply SE Single Edge Injector Razor. This has their brand new Nick Stop technology. Those fins right there on the safety bar, that's the Nick Stop technology. It reduces nicks and cuts. It really is a remarkable, remarkable razor. I was so impressed with this razor, I decided to get a Supply 2.0 razor before they were gone forever. Uh, this 2.0 razor comes with three shave setting plates, a sensitive shave setting plate, a comfortable shave setting plate, and an ultra close shave setting place, uh, shave setting plate. For this particular uh, showdown, we're going to be using the comfortable shave setting plate. So that's what we have in there, have in the razor. And I've installed a brand new black supply, black label uh, injector razor blade in each of these. So we have uh, new blades, and uh, we're ready to go with this. So completely new blades in there. 2.0 has the comfortable shave setting plate. The Supply SE has the SE uh, plate in there uh, with the Nick Stop technology, and we're gonna have a <laughs> we're gonna shave with these both side by side. Uh, the Supply SE will be used on the right side of my face here, and the 2.0 will be used on the left side of the face. So that's how we, that's how we're going to do it. Um, we're going to use, uh, well, we're going to kick it off, obviously, like we always do, with the Cube 2.0. Yeah, it's getting low. Got to get another one. Love the Cube 2.0, though. Activated charcoal, CK6, mentholated, just wonderful. My shave soap is one that we mentioned in Monday Morning mail Mailbag recently. Droid Black. What a beautiful scent this shave soap has. This is absolutely wonderful. It's a tribute or an homage to Floyd Black, which is discontinued and no longer available, but uh, this is an homage to it. It is absolutely wonderful, spectacular, and it's in CK6, so we're going to get a really, really terrific lather, and I got some hot water on top of the puck right now. We're going to use my Phoenix Shaving Star Wisp uh, shaving brush that's soaking in the sink right now, and uh, I'm going to finish it off with my alum block with the uh, the Phoenix shaving alum block with the dry dock with the no slip grip and the dry dock system. This has really held up a long, long time, and it is getting thinner uh, with every shave. Uh, I'm going to have to replace it soon, but we're just kind of adjusting the uh, no slip grip so we can get some of that surface area there, uh, right there like that. Uh, wonderful, wonderful alum block, probably one of the best values around, of course the uh, dry dock system right there. So that is terrific. I really enjoy using that. And we're obviously going to finish it off with Droid Black Aftershave and Cologne from Phoenix Shaving. Fantastic scent. Absolutely fantastic. And um, for upstairs, we're going to use a little bit of the uh, non-mentholated Mysterium Serum from Phoenix Shaving because I don't happen to have the uh, Droid Black uh, Star Jelly, which is their aftershave balm, but we're gonna mix a little bit of you know, we're gonna mix a little bit of this into that Mysterium Serum because it is unscented, so we'll have a little bit of a scented balm upstairs. I uh, also have my brush scuttle to keep 
that uh, brush knot and the lather that's on it really nice and warm. Uh, you know what? We're all set. Let's wet the face. Let's get to the shave. We're going to take a little bit of this hot water right here and just dump that in there. And uh, <laughs> as I say, let's wet the face. Let's get to the shave. Now, hopefully when I uh, rub this on here, you'll see, you'll see some of that whisker emerge a little bit better. And uh, this is a really, really, well, for me, it's always an important step. And there are times when I don't do it if I'm just <clears throat> reviewing a brand new shave soap and just want to showcase the performance of the soap by itself. That's fine. But after that, I'm always using this pre-shave. It preps the skin. It helps lift the whisker a little bit. It degreases the skin and the, and the beard. Okay, that's got it. Let's rinse. Okay, I want to splash enough water on there so I can reapply this. Everyone's different. I like to add water to uh, the face uh, during my rinses. Especially when I'm using CK6, because CK6 likes water. So it helps me with my next lathering pass. Okay, this is going to act as a pre-shave base. I'm going to lather the soap on top of that. We're going to be doing a face lather. Let me rinse my hands here. I got a towel right here. Let me set my razors over here and out of the way so I can get this towel a little more easily. Here's my brush right here and here is CK6. This is Droid Black. Here it is. The one thing that's great about CK6 is that you don't need to load this brush as much as you do with a tallow based soap. I mean that's really I've been learning to back off a little bit when I'm doing these video reviews. That's all I'm going to need right there. Watch. Little bit of water. Just a little more water is all I need. And I'm just dipping the tips of that brush in there to get that extra water to really just bring about Look at that. It's that easy. If you're, you know, <laughs> if you're just come back to the traditional wet shave and you're using shaving soap and you're having a problem doing a face lather and you're not getting a quick result that's a result like this that's quick and easy and enjoyable, I recommend forming a CK6 and a good synthetic brush. Uh, those two will really, really up your face lathering game. It has for me. Look at that. We're all set to go. So we're going to go ahead and take the SE right here and we're going to heat this up under some hot, hot, hot water. All right. All right. Here we go. 15 degrees, a light touch. Let the razor do all the work, gentlemen. That is really nice and smooth, nice, comfortable blade feel, good efficiency. No tugging, no pulling at all. We're going to do half the chin here, right here, half the chin. So I'm going to try to do half and half here. 
as evenly as I can. Not bad getting up underneath the nostrils on that north to south with the grain pass. We'll clean up the rest of it on the east to west. That really gets up there a little bit better, but a nice job with this razor. Very, very smooth and comfortable. Here we go with the uh, 2.0 with the comfortable shave setting plate. We're going to heat this up under some hot, hot water. I'm going to just drain the sink a little bit. <laughs> water getting kind of high there. All right, that's good and hot. All right. All right, here we go. 15 degrees, a light touch. Let the razor do all the work, gentlemen. That's really nice, too. There is a little more blade feel with the 2.0 comfortable shave setting plate. Boy, that's nice. They're both, <laughs> they're both nice. All right, let me set that there. Let me set the two, the SE, the SE over here. That's the first pass done. I'm going to rinse, throw a little water up there. We'll come up, we'll gauge this and see where we're at and how the two first passes with each razor compares. Okay, here's my, here's my rinse. Okay. I'm probably on the cusp of being socially acceptable with each side. The, the, the result here is, is close, very, very close. I think the sensitive, the sensitive plate uh, would not have been as close as the SC plate, that's for sure, because I have shaved with that. Uh, let me just see right here. I think the SC is just slightly closer on that first pass. I'm just trying to feel different areas of of my face here. And I think, boy, the, it's, the, the, the first pass is very, very close. I think the SE has a slight edge. Let me put it to you that way. Ever so slight. But the SE on that first pass was uh, smoother, uh, a little more comfortable. It had, it had a nice... A blade feel to it. The 2.0 had uh, a little more blade feel, but I think the SE definitely had a smoother feel to it on this first pass. Look, let me just throw some water up. Let me throw some water on my face here, and we're going to go ahead and lather up for the um, second pass. So I just want to add a little water. Okay, because it's CK6, and that additional water really helps bring back this lab. And now the amazing thing about these uh, razors is the efficiency is so good. And I've had, as I say, I have uh, two days worth of beard growth that we're knocking down. And when you do the traditional wet shave, you want to knock your beard down in stages. You're not going to get everything in one fell swoop unless you were like me when I was about 15, 16 years old and had, you know, that baby face to where <laughs> one pass would have gotten me, say, maybe one or two shaves a week, something like that. But for the, for most of us, uh, and depending on how demanding our beard is, we're going to need two passes, three passes, three passes and a touch-up, two passes and a touch-up, something like that. You're not going to get it all in one pass. And look how that lather just came back. This is the other thing that I really like about CK6. The lather just comes back to life with each successive pass. I have plenty on the brush, and you saw I didn't load that much. It just it, that's why I like the shave soap so much. Uh, and 
People ask me about the price point because it is a little more expensive than uh, some tallow-based soaps and uh, the original Crown King formula. You're not low. At least I have not been loading that much on the brush, so I think it's going to actually give uh, longer life. You're going to get more soap use out of it. Uh, at least that's my thinking. All right, so here we're going to here we go with uh, pass number two. We're going to use the SE on the right side of the face here. We're going to go east to west across the grain. Very nice. Boy, that is really, really very, very smooth. Very, very smooth. All you have to do is stay within that 10 to 15 degree angle and you're going to be fine. Now I'm going to go uh, from the outside inside on the upper lip here. Okay. A lot of slipness there to where I could do a little bit of a uh, little bit of buffing, so to speak. All right, uh, here is the uh, 2.0 uh, for on the left side of my face. Here we're going to go east to west across the grain. Yeah, uh, a little more blade feel. It's not as smooth as the SE. It really is not as smooth as the SE. But it is very, very good. Very, very good. And I'm going to get up there on the other side just to remove those hairs. Okay, let me see what that is. Yeah. Okay. Next stop technology, yeah, it's working. Check this out, right here. Little guy right there, that's gonna close up, but that's definitely from the 2.0. Uh, again, it's a small one, but, uh, you know, that did not happen with the SE plate. That mix stop technology really does work. All right, that's the second pass done. Let's rinse and compare. Boy, I love the scent of this droid black. Absolutely. Yeah, I, I would say... Yeah, I would say the SE is is more efficient. Uh, not glaringly so, but there is a, a, a nicer finish to it. I would say overall, this shave could be called done. We're going to do a third pass, though, to move these razors in the south to north against the grain uh, pass movement. So we can uh, really just do all three passes and see see how both of them perform after three passes. Again, that little nick there, I'm probably going to just close right up with some cold water. Cold water and maybe a little alum block. Not maybe, but a little alum block will close it up. It's likely the cold water will close it up. If the cold water doesn't close it up completely, the alum block will. All right, so uh, here we go with uh, pass number three on the right side with the Supply SE Razor. We're going to go south to north against the grain. I love, I love this uh, third pass. Love it. Love doing this. And uh, I'm not getting much audio feedback. Uh, 
uh, because the first two passes were really good. So this is really a light cleanup. Uh, any stray hairs that may not have, uh, I may not have gotten, but they probably would end up receding anyhow. So. All right, that's, that's terrific. That is really very, very nice and smooth. All right, here's the 2.0. Uh, we're going to go uh, south to north against the grain on the left side of the face. All right. All righty. Okay. Third pass done. Let's rinse. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> that's a nice shave. That really is very, very nice. Wow. That's terrific. That's, that's really very, very nice. All right. We're going to do my two final rinses, one warm, one cold, then do my alum block, and then kind of wrap this up and uh, get a final result and uh, thoughts about each of these razors and how it's shaved. Here's my warm water rinse. Ah, oh, that... <laughs> Very nice. That's terrific. All right. I'm going to flip it to the cold water side. The menthol from the cube is going to add to this cold water. Give me a little bit of a kick. It's going to add to the cold water rinse, rather. Give me a little bit of a kick. Okay, here we go. Cold water rinse. Okay, a couple extra splashes over here. I want to make sure that that's closing up with some cold water. Clean, fresh towel waiting for me right here. And it looks like it is closing up. Nothing, nothing major. Boy, that's a, <laughs> that's a nice shade. My gosh, that's marvelous. Yeah, right now, I can tell. I can tell. Yeah. All right, hang on. Let's get the alum block and let's uh, run this under some cold water. And run this over the... Uh, cleanly shaved face to see what kind of feedback we get, any stinging, any zinging, that sort of thing. All right, here we go. We're going to do the right side first, and then we'll wet it again and reapply it to the left side. We're going to do the right side first. Okay, here we go. No stinging. No zinging, some nice bracing. Maybe, maybe, maybe a couple of little zing, maybe. Could be bracing from the Allen block. Hard to say, but really nice, smooth as ice feedback. We're going to run this into some cold water again. And we're going to do the left side of the face where we shave with the 2.0 with the comfortable shave setting plate. Here we go.
definitely a couple of zings on the neck right here where that little nick was. But for the most part, and maybe a little bit here, but for the most part, nice and smooth, but I think I got some more distinctive zings from the 2.0 than I did the SE. The SE was really nice and smooth, and I think the uh, couple of zings I got there could have been bracing from the Allen block, but these were a little more distinctive, where I actually did feel uh, a little zing as the block was passing over it. With the SE, I didn't feel that initial uh, zing. I felt it afterwards, which tells me it's probably bracing from uh, bracing of the skin from the Allen block. That's my guess. We, uh, we're gonna, here we have the dry dock system, and we're gonna put that in there like that and let the air in the room do the rest of the work. Now, the shave was wonderful. Uh, both razors did a great, great job. And of course, uh, kudos and bravo to, uh, CK6. Check this out. Look at that. It's, it's fantastic. This, this shave soap is, Marvelous. It's wonderful. It really, really is. We're going to go ahead and uh, we are going to go ahead and use some of the Droid, Droid Black Aftershave. Boy, this stuff is great. And I'm going to set that there. I'm kind of <laughs> going to have to kind of clear the deck after this. Uh, uh, that's okay. It's great to see. It's great to see all the shaving gear here. It really is. Okay. Okay, about that. Oh, that's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. That, that's a marvelous scent. That really is terrific. All right, Mysterium Serum, one, two, about that much there. And I'm going to get just a couple of drops. Boom, boom. There it is. Right like that. We have a scented balm now. I need to do a head shave, but maybe that'll come later on this evening. We'll see. Great shave. Really, really terrific. Now, I've been shaving with both of these razors for uh, some time, and I've had shaves with them under uh, similar conditions. I've had shaves with the SE with one day and two days worth of growth. I've also had the same kinds of shaves with the 2.0, uh, one day and two days worth of growth. Uh, I can tell you that I think just from feeling my skin after the shave here, I can tell you that I believe, I believe the SE is, the SE is more comfortable, it's smoother, it's the efficiency is uh, equal to, if not a little bit better than the 2.0. The 2.0 gives you a little more blade feel, and it also, um, uh, for me, with one day's worth of growth, it seems to be, with the comfortable shave setting plate, seems to be a uh, two-pass razor. Uh, a third pass with the comfortable shave setting plate might be a little too much. Uh, it's okay, but really it's done after two passes. Uh, and this, the, the, the SE is definitely smoother. With one day's worth of growth, the SE is smoother. It's as efficient, maybe even a little more efficient than the 2.0 with the comfortable plate. Uh, and I can do a third pass without too much worry of uh, maybe uh, getting too many zings and stings from the Allen block. Uh, that's kind of my impression. I guess if I had to, uh, well, lately, uh, when I have one day's worth of growth and I want to do three passes, I've taken the comfortable shave setting plate off and I put on the sensitive, uh, shave setting plate so that I can do a third pass. Well, let me put it that way. That's the way it's coming down. With the SE, I don't have that problem. I can do two passes or three passes and not really worry. 
Uh, this really is smooth and comfortable. It is smoother. It is more comfortable than the 2.0. This SE plate offers the smooth and comfort of the sensitive shave setting plate on the 2.0, but with the efficiency of the comfortable shave setting plate. That's the way I'm looking at it. And look, no nicks, no cuts, no irritation, no nicks on this side at all. One little nick that is closed up over here with the 2.0 and the comfortable shave setting plating. Now, we did three passes because I had two days worth of beard growth. With one day's worth of beard growth, I could do three passes with the SC plate. Again, no problem at all. I'm going to get a comfortable shave and I'm not going to get a lot of stinging or zinging. With the 2.0 and the comfortable shave setting plate, I might get a little more feedback from the, uh, uh, from the alum block. Uh, that's okay, but, um, you know, it's, it's, it's telling me that this is probably, uh, uh, in those areas, uh, it can be probably a little, uh, not as smooth as the SE plate. This mixed stop technology in that safety bar really does work. It smooths out the shave. It, it is, it is more comfortable. It is smoother. These razors with the 2.0 and the sensitive plates, they're wonderful. It's just that there is that variation for me uh, based on one day's worth of growth and two days worth of growth. And that's the way the razor is designed. You know, you get two days worth of growth. I'll throw in the comfortable shave setting plate. A lot of you will probably throw in the ultra close plate because you got two days, two or three days worth of beard growth. That's the way it works. Uh, if I'm going to do um, a two pass shave with one day's worth of beard growth, uh, then I'm going to have uh, the comfortable shave setting plate in there. One day's worth of beard growth uh, with a sensitive plate. I can do three passes very, very comfortably. Uh, three passes with the comfortable shave setting plate. Yeah, we're getting kind of to, to the stinging, zinging area with an Allen block. Uh, but, you know, it gives a really, really nice shave. With the SC plate, it doesn't matter. This thing is just wonderful. With two days worth of growth, one day's worth of beard growth, I could do two passes, three passes and a touch up. It is that smooth and comfortable. And the result that I have here right now really does demonstrate that. This is a little smoother here and a little closer than, than over here. Yeah, it's, it, it is. They're very, very close, but I can feel right here that it is closer. The efficiency was a little bit better than the 2.0 plate over here. And that was with two days worth of beard growth. They're both great, but boy, this SC definitely, in my opinion, definitely is an improvement, is an improvement over the 2.0 and its series of uh, shave plates. However, uh, they're both great razors. They really, really are. And uh, it's nice that if you have the 2.0, you can get the SE plate for only about 14, 15 bucks from uh, supply and just get that plate and plug it into your 2.0 and now you got an SE. So now you have a shave plate for an even wider variation of uh, beard and skin types uh, or uh, shaving challenges, so to speak, uh, so that you can kind of plug in a different plate for whatever demands your beard or beard are giving you for that uh, for that shave uh really really terrific 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 razors but yeah in this showdown the se was smoother it was more comfortable and i think the efficiency was a little better than the 2.0 after two days worth of beard growth so that's kind of it in a nutshell i really did enjoy it i love both of these razors they're both great check it out i'll have a link below to supply where you can get your very own SE uh, single edge injector razor. If you have the 2.0, you can get the SE plate for it and then you have an SE. All right, that's it. Thanks very much for tuning in again. I really do appreciate it. Please share, please subscribe, please like. Hit that bell so it'll give you a yell the next time I upload a video. Comment below, let me know. Check out the executive shaving company. Use the code MARK5. Check out my blog, georgetoon.com slash blog. For my comic strip, George, other cartoons, other videos like this, I'm on Facebook. Check out my Facebook page. Check out Phoenix Artists and Accoutrements for some great, great shaving gear. Check out lightningsblade.com for some great shaving gear. Check out my Amazon product page at amazon.com slash shop slash Mark Zerady, where you'll find all the products I review in this channel, organized and categorized 
so you can find everything in a snap very easily. Thanks very much for tuning in again. I really do appreciate it. I'll see you again real soon.